What's the crack lads? Welcome back. We are doing a quick player of the week review. I'm going to show you the stats in game in a second. We're also going to show you our spins and I am going to be doing a video talking about the player of the week and why I think they have to change for eFootball 25 or else it's going to be just, yeah, I think they're just going to be dead on arrival, man. The, the, the player of the weeks now, I, I just, yeah, we'll go through a full video of what I think they should do to fix them why I think they need to fix them and need to fix them quick for launch, right? So we are going to take a look at this worldwide pack. The player of the weeks is back. And obviously the best part of this is probably the A form if you are using some of your favorite players. So if you are using Blitz Curl or Salah, if you're using Big Time Saka, if you're using Xerxes or Kovacic or any of these that are got the A form now, uh, Matoma is there as well. Of course, we had a showtime for him. Any of these players are going to be nice if you have not used them before. And they're all on A form for a week. Uh, maybe more depends on their form next week as well but usually these players are are good to use right now Lewandowski we just spun one on this account but I'll show you my main account where we spun three the pack does disappear when you open all your players so um, that is why we're using this one to show you the actual players here because I've already opened my packs right but Kovacic is pretty decent he's got a booster as well this guy is actually quite slept on as an AMF even though he's down as a box-to-box -box DMF He's got insane skills and insane stats, uh, and I definitely think he's worth it. I'll show you him in-game in a second, um, so we'll have a look at him in a little bit more detail. Also, Saka and Salah, they're obviously going to be the top picks here as well. Salah and Saka, I definitely think they are worth getting into your squad if you get them. Um, I mean, acceleration, balance, type possession, dribbling, they're all pretty much where you want it to be for a prolific winger. And also, Saka can play left back, even though he's got low defensive stats. He does have track back, he does have cross specialist or pinpoint crossing. He's got a lot of stuff going on with this card, so control, one touch pass. We'll get into it in the other video. You can't give him skills, you can't play him in different positions or train him in different positions. We'll get into that. But Saka and Salah are probably the, the best two picks here. Xerxes, I actually opened so many of these players to try and get Xerxes across any profile. And we just could not get him. Um, and I wanted to get him because he has the booster, right? The standard card is decent as well. Uh, but I do like the look of this card apart from his balance. I don't know what it is with the way that they, they, they build these cards. Haaland is the same. I mean, this guy is technically very sound. You know what I mean? And his balance should determine that a little bit more. He should be at least 80 balance. I think Haaland should be 80 balance as well. Um, and just to have it like usable, like not to have it too unusable, so to speak. We also have Rully and Mam Gula. This guy actually gets um, a nice player skill here, right? He gets a player skill, uh, long range curler. He's got some nice player skills as off the rip, including uh, advanced double touch or ball roll, as you guys call it sometimes. Very nice stats as well, just below kind of meta, and he doesn't have an in-game face either. Um, Fujimoto, I see this guy as well. Uh, he has actually just moved here, I think, to Gil Vincente, who are playing in the uh, Portuguese league. He actually gets a booster as a whole player. Kind of a decent player as well. I mean, he obviously has a double touch and soul control, but missing flip flaps, so it doesn't get that advanced double touch or ball roll. Diakete, this guy here as a center back, very decent as well. Strong, powerful, but a lack of aggression as a destroyer and a lack of acceleration is going to kill this card, to be honest with you. Um, Kovacic, we already talked about him. Rully, we don't really need to go into him. Lewandowski and Vanderson, right? So Lewandowski, again, is kind of wasted in the game, I feel. Even though his type possession on this card is not too bad, his acceleration, his balance, his speed. And if you're looking for an aerial threat, there's just way better options there. But if you do get him, I mean, he's fun for a game or two. And then we have Vanderson at the back as well. A lot of speed, a lot of stamina. Acceleration is nice. Physically, he's not as good as other attacking fullbacks. I mean, there's just so many good attacking fullbacks in the game at the moment. But he does have interception, man marking, and fighting spirit, but not blockers. So he's definitely not up at the upper tier, right? So I'm actually going to go over and show you my spin. So this was on um, one of my accounts. I think it was my main account um, where we spun, right? So we got Kovacic. Um, and I'm actually going to set this up while we're doing that. And I'll show you... Um, who we actually got in game with my main spins, right? We got Kovacic in the first spin. A lot of people seem to have get Kovacic in the first spin. We also got a Saka in the second spin. A lot of people seem to get Saka as well. For me, Saka is definitely kind of like a go between, between like a top, top tier um, player and somebody that you're not going to ever use. Like that is kind of where it is, right? So I do feel as if that this is going to be something that if people are looking at getting Saka in or they're looking at getting different cards like that in and trying different cards, I do feel like that they can be good, but I feel like at this stage in the game, you're not going to be really going out of your way to do that. You know, you're not going to be going out of your way to, to, to like get Saka in when you have so many left backs or you have that can defend or you have so many wingers that can actually attack. 
a lot more effectively than him, right? So I'm just going to show you on my team here. We do have a couple of the boys in. We have Saka. That's what his skills look like and his stats look like in game as a prolific winger. That's what he bounces up to there. He's got 90 plus in lofted pass dribbling, speed and acceleration, balances at 86, tight possession at 85. Um, we do have as well, I think we got, let me just double check. Let's, sorry, I'm all over the place. Uh, let me just double check here who we got with order of signing. So we got Salah and Kovacic on my main profile. Now, I'll be honest with you, right? I don't really rate Kovacic as a defensive player, but I do rate him as somebody that can play attacking, right? And Salah's the same. This is Salah's stats with the, the manager proficiency boost here. Very good dribbling, attacking awareness, finishing at 88. He's just below his, like his, his good booster card. That is kind of where I would say a lot of these cards are not going to reach the limits of other cards. And there's a reason for that is because they want you to buy the premium ones. Like if you look at Salah here, Blitz Curler versus Whole Player Salah, I would prefer Whole Player Salah. But Whole Player Salah, that this one, you can't play him as a, an attacking midfielder. You know what I mean? He's only able to learn those and he can't learn them because they're player of the week. So you can't train them. So yeah, it's a little bit silly. Um, but also Kovacic in this area is very nice as well if you're looking for a kind of a defensive um, attack a midfielder because that's the way the game is gone now I think every player needs to be able to defend and attack so yeah it is for me Les we will talk about it at a later date I think my next video is going to be talking about the player of the weeks and how to fix it but until then don't forget to subscribe did you spin or skip let me know and I'll talk to you in a bit